Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Children's Worship on this Trinity Sunday, the first Sunday after the season of Pentecost. This morning's story comes out of the book of Genesis, which is the very first book in our Bible, and it is called God Makes a Universe. Close your eyes very tight. You can't see anything, right? Now, let's pretend. Pretend you can imagine nothing. That's right, nothing. Imagine a long, long time ago when there was no world, no stars, no animals, no people, no you. Just nothing. Now, imagine that even though there was nothing, God was there. Before there was anything, there was God. Because God isn't a something, God just is. It's very hard to imagine that, isn't it? But that's the way the Bible tells us it was at the beginning of everything. God was there. God was there like a strange light that is everywhere, but doesn't come from anything. The light didn't shine on anything because there was nothing to shine on. Can you imagine that? Now you can open your eyes. God had an idea. Let there be light, he said. And it happened. Maybe it was like a really loud whoosh. Scientists call it the Big Bang. A bigger bang than you could ever imagine. A bigger flash of bursting light. Out of all that, God made something. Out of that big bang came stars, gazillions of stars. All the stars you can see in the night sky. You can even see more stars if you look through a telescope. Some of the stars have planets and moons. One of the stars that God made was our sun that shines in the sky every day. One of those planets was our Earth, the one you live on right now. One of the moons was our moon, the moon you see at night. And God said, that's good. God kept having ideas. God kept making things, lakes and rivers and oceans, trees and plants, animals and bugs. God made things slowly and carefully, and sometimes it took many, many years. More years than you can imagine to make things. Scientists call that evolution. And God said, that's good. Then God said, I'm going to make people. Each person will be like the animals in many ways, but in one special way, these humans will be like me. So God made people, people like you. And inside each of us, God put some of the light that was there before there was anything. You have some of that light in you. People can see that light shining in your, in your eyes when you laugh. Sometimes they also see God's light when you cry. And sometimes they see that light when you are just being you. And then God looked at all creation. God looked at the stars, the world, the mountains and the trees, and the flowers and bugs. God looked at the animals and the birds. God even looked at things so tiny we can't see them bacteria and molecules and atoms and protons. God looked at the people. God looked at the babies and the children and the adults and the older people. God looked at people with dark skin and light skin. God looked at all the many kinds of people. Then God said to the people, I'm giving you this beautiful world, this beautiful universe. Please take good care of it. Please be kind to it. When it was all done, God said, this is all very good. And God smiled, a smile as wide and beautiful as the rainbow. So what did you hear in that story that stood out to you? Anything new that you've never heard before? Or have you heard that story before? And since God gave us that beautiful world, the beautiful universe, what can we do to help take care of that earth? And what can we do to help take care of the people on that earth? I want you to think about those questions this week. And let's go ahead and do our creed. We believe in God the Father, the creator of all things. We believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who died for our sins. And we believe in the Holy Spirit, who gives us our gifts to use for the body of Christ. Next, we'll go on to our prayers. Our first prayer is, we pray for the churches of the world. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray
pray for the people who lead our country and state. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of our church. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace on earth and for people who have nothing to eat or drink. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families, friends, and everyone around the world. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the brave, alert, and strong military that they show mercy in carrying out their service. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for anyone who has died and their families who might be upset. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for our church to do what God asks us to do by helping our community and neighbors. Lord, hear our prayer. Next, we'll do our five finger prayer. We start that off by putting our thumb closest to us. Our first one is our thumb. Let's pray for those closest to you, for people in your family. So let's take a minute and think about the people in your family that you would like to pray for. Our second finger is our pointer finger. Let's pray for those that point you in the right directions, our teachers, doctors, and priests. Let's ask for wisdom and support. So let's take a minute and think about our teachers, our doctors, and our priests, and let's ask God to give them wisdom and support. Our third finger is our index finger. It's the tallest finger. Let's pray for those that lead us, the people in government. Let's ask God to give them guidance and wisdom. So let's take a minute and pray for people like our president, our governor, the mayors around the world, any city managers, or anyone who makes decisions for their community. Let's pray that God gives them guidance and wisdom. Our fourth finger is our ring finger. It's the weakest finger. Let's pray for those that are weak, in trouble, or in pain. We cannot pray too much for them. So let's take a minute and pray for those people who need a little extra prayer this week. Maybe the people who are sick, or the people who are lonely, or people who are homeless. Anyone who might need just a little extra prayer this week. Let's take a moment and pray for them. And our last finger is our pinky finger. It's the smallest finger. Let's pray for ourselves and our own needs. So let's take a minute and think about the things you need prayer for for yourself this week and pray for those now. Well, I hope you had a great week and I hope that you'll join us again next week. Let's end with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our time together. We thank you for allowing us to be together even though we are apart. We ask that you help our Christ light, the light that you put inside of us, to shine brightly for the people around us. Help us to be kind and generous to our family and our friends and people we don't know. We just thank you so much for all of our blessings, and we ask that you bring us back safely next week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.